Well, are you ready for our last block for our winter pillow? Hey everyone, Kristen Som here, and can you believe it? We are on our last block for our winter stash buster challenge. So today, I'm pretty excited about this one. We are gonna do a double pinwheel, and it's all in the hoop. Well, I think it's like, 99% in the hoop. Uh, we are going to piece it all together in the hoop and then we will um, do two different sides and sew those two sides together. So that's the only sewing. And I struggle with pinwheels. I'll tell you, pinwheels are not my personal favorite. And so to have one in the hoop, I think will be very exciting. So um, if you have purchased the Lucky Us pillow that is in the Kimberbell vault, then you will have the design from that download. If you didn't purchase that, now is your chance. So it is in the Kimberbell vault, direct download. You need that to do this block. If you are not going to join us for the Lucky Us pillow, then you might choose not to get that design. So that's up to you. If you decide not to, then you can choose another one of the designs that we have not used from our Kimberbell Winter Volume 1. This was available as a direct download as well, and we've been doing this one all along. Um, but like I said, you will need the double hoop design that is on the Lucky Us pillow to complete our challenge for today. But you have an option. So those of us that are gonna jump right after we finish this pillow, we're going to do the Lucky Us pillow, and so we'll get two uses out of it. But if you're choosing not to do that St. Patrick's Day pillow, then you can do something else that is on this design CD. So we've already, or the direct download, um, we've already used most of them. Um, there is the Let It Snow design, so you could figure out that for your four and a half by four and a half block, inch block. Whatever works for you. I'm going to do the um, double pinwheel. And like I said, I'm pretty excited because I've never done one in the hoop before. And I they're not my favorite. I struggle with them. So to have it in the hoop, I think that'll be fun. Plus, if you know me, you know I love the piecing projects. That's my favorite thing. And this is a piecing project. So let's talk about what we're going to need. This is our last block. We've gone over all the different blocks. You can see all of the videos of what we've done so far. And uh, so for today... So you're gonna choose three different fabrics that match your focal fabric, if you choose. So this is my focal fabric, and I chose um, a yellow, golden, it's a golden, with a navy blue with white dots on it, and a snowflake tealish color design. So those are the three fabrics that I chose, and they match really well with my focal fabric. So I think that that will be really fun for my pillow. So for this, you're gonna separate the three different um, fabrics, column A, B, and C. And then for A, the first one, which is the one that I'm using my gold on, that one you want four pieces that are two and a half by three and a half. And the directions on this block are in the Lucky Us PDF directions that are that came with the direct download for the Lucky Us pillow. But I'll go over it step by step as well. So um, four pieces that are two and a half by three and a half. And I did back mine with fusible stabilizer. For the piecing projects, you don't absolutely have to, but I feel it helps the fabric to hold its shape. So I decided I am going to do that. So um, four pieces of fabric A. It's actually numbers one, four, seven, and 10. And then for fabric B, I'm using the navy with white dots, and that is numbers two, five, eight, and 11. And again, we'll go over all of this as we work on it, but you want four pieces that are three by three and a half, four pieces, three by three and a half. And like I said, I backed it with fusible stabilizer. So that's my fabric B. For fabric C, that we have a bigger piece and that's the actual pinwheel part. So this one you are going to use for pieces three, six, nine, and 12 and you want four pieces that are three by five, 
three by five. So it actually goes this way, three by five. And back to a feasible stabilizer. And if you remember from previous uh, piecing projects that you've done with me, I really think that the big um, thing that makes it easiest is if you put your fabrics in order. So like I said, they are numbered. So one of each one first. So my yellow, my navy blue, and my teal, then yellow, navy blue, teal, and so on. So you're just gonna see I'll add the directions in this video, but if you put them in order, it makes it a lot easier than sitting there going, okay, which number am I on now? And which one do I do? If you keep them in order of how you're gonna use them, so one, two, three, four, five, all the way through to 12, and um, put them all in order of how you're gonna use them, I swear that makes it so much easier. All right, and then after we're all done with it, we're gonna quilt it. So you're gonna want a piece of batting that is five by five for your batting. And then we're gonna choose a quilting design. You can use any quilting design on this. Um, I've chosen loops, which is from our clear blue tiles. I thought that would be a really cute one for this. Um, anything that kind of goes out, I think would be really cute. So that's a personal preference, but any, any quilting design in size four by four, and we'll go over step by step how to do the piecing. It's very easy, and um, I think you'll really enjoy this one. I'm excited about it. So tell me, were you on team four square? Because you had this option yesterday. You could do two more blocks of the four squares, and that is really cute. It went that way. Um, so you could do two more of these, or you could do a penguin and a snowman peeker. So I want to know, which team were you on? Were you on the team for the four squares or the team for two more embroidered blocks? From the pictures I'm seeing, it looks like most are doing this, but either one looks really great and, and so fun to do, super fun. And I can't believe we're on our last block now. Oh my gosh. So we have all these really pretty blocks. We've gone over them on every video and Oh my gosh, seeing everyone's pictures, I, I you can't be in a bad mood. You look through all these pictures and you're like, oh, there's another one I haven't seen yet. Oh, there's another one. It's so fun seeing everybody's pillows and ev all of them coming together. It's gonna be really fun after we finish this last block because then we'll see everyone's pillow top. Oh, that's gonna be cool. All the different colors and all the different designs and very, very fun. So let's go ahead and get started with our last block. Oh, and I totally almost forgot to tell you, I am wearing my gnome shirt today. I've had a lot of questions about this one. It's one of my favorites. It says, hang in with my gnomies, and it is a planet applique design, and on the shirt, it's one of my favorite shirts. Um, it's from Amazon. You can get it from my link, and those are underneath the video. At the very bottom of the video, I always add a link to where I got the design that I'm wearing in the video and the shirt if it's something that you can get to. It's a cute little hood shirt. It's not thin, not thick, I'm sorry. It's a thin shirt, and I love this one. I love this one. I used um, fleece on the beards. So it's a really fun shirt because I think of hanging with my gnomies, all you girls that are doing this pillow with me and the boys too. I think there's a couple of boys doing this. So anyway, let's um, get going with our pillow. We're almost done.
Hey everyone, so once you have all of those piece parts all together, then you're gonna sew, the, make sure that you have them directionally right, but after that, you're going to sew the two seams together. And I do something a little different. Um, I start from the middle and then I sew out and I turn it over and I start from the middle and I sew out. And I have really good luck with that. Um, it helps hold it together, I think, better. I do use pins and all of that, but um, it's pretty gratifying when, because you don't know until you open it up, right? So it's pretty gratifying when you open it up and you see perfect points. Look at that. Very exciting. I'm pretty happy about that. So let me know what tips you have, but this works for me is to um, start from the middle and sew it out. So I think I'm pretty, pretty amused with that. So we're going to open up our seams, sew, sew open our seams, and um, then we're going to quilt this. One other thing that I found helpful is when you're sewing your quarter inch seam allowance, if you follow your bobbin stitches, then you're going to get it exactly a quarter inch versus if you use the edge where you cut, there could be a little bit of leeway. Um, whereas if you just follow your bobbin stitches, then you know you're getting that quarter inch seam allowance.
So tell me, how are you doing with your New Year's challenge, your 2022 goals? So um, I was doing great. I was really proud of myself. I rode a whole bunch of miles in January and then um, I had an injury and my big dog, my big boxer dog came slamming into me and hit the side of my knee that doesn't bend. <laughs> <laughs> from the side so um i have been injured so i haven't ridden my bike or done any exercise in five days five days so that's really hard for me you know I, i'm lots of energy and um really enjoy working out and feeling healthy and so that's been hard for me so um during this lull for me while i'm healing tell me how you're doing i want to hear some positive of the things that you're doing to improve yourself and always continue to be at your best for 2022. i have one more thing to tell you so I started the Christian Creates group in July, I believe it was, and we did Vintage Boardwalk and Candy Corn Quilt Shop and Candy Cane Lane and all these fun projects. And all the while I have been uh, videoing on my cracked camera and it's worked, it's been fine, but I've had a goal of purchasing an actual camera, a real camera, not a cell phone. <laughs> and I finally got it. I finally saved up enough money to buy my camera. Thank you to those that sent little bits of money and um, Susan and Jackie and, and those that, that went overboard in helping me with my goal. That was really nice. So now I have my camera. I ended up having to buy a new light too because the camera didn't fit my little light from before so you can see my new setup and I'm pretty excited that um, I have an actual camera I feel so official now <laughs> I'm a real youtuber <laughs> so thank you all for your support those that have been purchasing from my Amazon links that are underneath the video and um, watching all the hours on YouTube watching the full video that actually helped I'm already doing what I'm just enjoying so much and to be able to afford to buy my own nice camera I'm pretty happy about it thank you very much for your support I appreciate it